Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Um, I've been sent this Cobra SC200D by Cobra Electronics to, to try out in full disclosure. They've, they've sent it me for nothing and I can keep it. Um, in, all I have to do is review it. And to be honest, it, it, it couldn't really come at a better time. Um, I've just got a new little electric car on order, a Citroen Ami, and it's, it's going to be here any, well, hopefully any day. And when it comes, I'm going to fit this uh, to that car permanently. Do I think dash cams are a good idea? Honestly, uh, I've had a dash cam for the last probably six or seven years. Um, in that time, <laughs> it's caught... I was coming around the, um, coming off the M61, and uh, as I came around the, the the bend, the cars in front of me split both sides, and right in the middle there was a trailer uh, on its side, <laughs> in that lane, and so I saw that. Another time when I, I used to work in Manchester, another time I was coming home, and I could see in front of the car in front of me there was a crowbar in the road all he had to do was just <laughs> kept one wheel at either side of the crowbar it would have been fine but no went over the edge of it the crowbar flipped up went up in the air and then came down landed on my bonnet and uh, hit the screen as well it didn't come through fortunately but those two incidents that just two of many um, a cyclist pulled out on me Never looked, came straight across the bridge the other week, <laughs> straight in front of me. Um, it, it's, they are absolutely invaluable. But all those apart, all, all those incidents apart, I'll just cut one in that I actually caught while I was filming. I caught it on my GoPros when I go out videoing cars, that's what I, I do, I sell cars. Um, I have a YouTube channel for cars. Um, and I was videoing a test drive, so I had five cameras mounted, five GoPros mounted, when this happened. <coughs> so, uh, I don't think I'm going to get up to 70 here to tell you how many... Oh, f what? <laughs> anyway, you make your mind up. <laughs> Is a dash cam worth the money? I think it is. And, and, and I'll try and... I've read briefly through the instructions. This camera does so much. Uh, but I would also... I've, I've, I've had, had a sneak peek. Now this, this camera... It's actually very similar to a, a camera I bought. A Sony ZV-1F the other week. But it's, it's less than half the amount. It's very, very well made. Everything about it's nice. Um, you've got, that's the front camera. So that faces forward through the screen. And then you've got this one. This mounts on your back screen. I probably won't mount it on my back screen. I have seen another um, camera that you can get for this. And I think it just plugs into there. So you have that, cam that camera pointing forward through the windscreen. And this camera here is a cabin camera, so it points in. There's, there's a lot of times when you, you want to see what's happening at both sides of you and not just, you know, with a, a void in the middle. I dare say there's a lot of drivers out there that don't want uh, a record of what they were doing at the time they had a crash. But I do, and I, and I like uh, the idea of seeing what happens in the cabin too, as I say, because you can see the side windows are covered. Um, and it, I, th I think that's also a good idea for, it has a, a kind of a parking mode as well. So I've not tested it yet. So I, at this point in time, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so if you bear with me, I'll, I'll try and do all that lot and, and I'll try and make a, a complete film. But in, in the meantime, this is, this is really just an unboxing. So we've got the, the camera, the front camera, the rear camera, as I say, I'm going to try and get a cabin camera. And then in here, also, oh, I was looking all over for the, the card, the memory card. It's actually in the slot already. And it's a, it's a 16 gigabyte memory card. 
So that's that's pretty good. I'll put this out of the way. Here we have that USB and that plugs into the camera. So I'm assuming if you take it out instead of just taking the memory card, you can connect that to your computer and download any footage. Pull that out and that out. And then we'll put these out of the way. Another good idea with other dash cameras I've had, you've just got one um, charging plug. Of course, when you put that in, then you can't charge your phone or anything. This plug has another USB socket in the end, so you can plug that in and then plug some another USB into the charging socket. So that's that's handy. That's the little plug that goes in here, and then this is the lead. This one, where's the end? That's the end there, plugs in the rear view camera and that plugs in the front camera. You can have them both on the, the screen here at the back. You can have picture in picture if you want a view of the rear, which is again is a, a pretty good idea because I suppose actually you could use it as a reversing camera too. It would be recording any, everything, but you could see out of the back window in this screen and you've got a reversing camera too. Um, couple of other things I like, this mounting, the sticky pad there, that's adjustable, but just watch this. It's magnetic and that's it. And, and I, it, it's, it's, a, it's a strong magnet too. So that, that's that. Now then, in order for me to get this working, I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Um, there is an app you can get off Apple or, or Google and, and for Android phones, but I, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is, um, these two are the same plugs, the plug plugs in there, so if I plug that in there, like so, then I've just got a battery pack here, I'll plug this in too, and then we know what we're dealing with so <clears throat> that goes in there starting to look a bit like spaghetti junction here of course you took all this wiring away what I'll do th this this is just the normal kit but you can get a hard wiring kit which is, is what I do so we then plug this in here like that so that's put that there trying to get it so it don't flip it over and then where is it now I'm going to turn this round I'm going to turn it round like so so we can see what's going on here You'll see the lights come on, I've put the power pack on, and it's come up automatically. It's started recording, so I'm going to stop it recording. These icons here correspond to the buttons under here. So there's four buttons there. I want to stop it recording, I click that one. So here we go. There's the menu, video resolution. We'll click OK on that. That's 1080p, 30 frames a second, uh, plus the 1080p 30 frames a second for the rear camera, which is that of course. Here we've got 1080p 30 frames a second plus 720p 30 frames per second for the rear camera, 720 plus 720. Then there's 720p at 60 frames per second with the back camera at 720p 30 frames a second. So I've got them both on 1080p. Now here we go to, to knock back here. If I click that, that knocks it back to the um, menu again. Click down, that's the loop. Click OK to see what that is. One minute, two minutes, three minutes. So we'll have it on three minutes. Click OK. I didn't quite click OK properly there. And then you've got Wi Fi, Wi Fi name, Wi Fi password. Don't want to be messing about with that at the moment. So. 
go back. Then we've got GPS. Click O. Well, GPS is on, so I don't need to do anything there. Bluetooth is on. Then we've got display. Click OK, see what that is. Uh, front camera, right, th this is what we need to do. Front camera, cabin camera, or you can have picture in picture, full screen, uh, front camera, or picture in picture, cabin. So we want picture in picture. I, I'm going to go for a front screen, but as I say, you can use it as a reversing camera as well, which is a, a, a brilliant addition, really, because um, they do come in handy. Got date and time, so click OK. Automatic, yeah, automatic's good. Time zone, daylight saving, yep, okay. Um, click down, click back. Voice commands, so voice command is on, okay or off. Microphone, we'll click that on, so okay, go down. Motion detection, let's have a look at that. Cabin camera, so if they're already inside your camera, I'm not sure, but front camera, um, yeah, front camera, that's okay for me. Parking mode, we'll switch parking mode on. We'll just go down to parking mode, click OK. And then surveillance auto shut off. That's uh, you, you can change the amount of hours there. I'll, I'll try and use these. There's so many things on this that <laughs> if I do everything, my video is going to be about <laughs> two days long. So that's the G4 Sensei. I, I do know that you can, if it, if it keeps setting the camera off, you can change the settings between one, two, and three, uh, or knock it off completely. I'm going to leave it at one. Go back now. The watermark for the purposes of this video, seeing as Cobra Electronics have been kind enough to send me this uh, free of charge in the first place, I'm going to leave the watermark on. We'll just go in the watermarks. So uh, that's the logo watermark. The rest of them are date and time, speed, uh, GPS coordinates, and you can also set the driver as well. So let's just uh, go down to driver. Yeah, we've got that on. And there you go, the logo. As I say, I'm going to leave that on because uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that they've sent me this. Driver ID watermark. So here we go. We'll do this. Driver ID watermark. Um, you use, again, the up and down arrows. I want a capital B. I'm sure there's a quick way. If you keep your finger on there, yeah, it's, it's flipping through like nobody's business. Barry and OK and then there you go that's return so the exposure onto exposure click click there you've got the the F stops um, minus a third minus a seventh minus one that if it's too bright outside if it's if it's facing forward particularly or um, it's not far enough back and you've got a bit of dark and a bit of light it'll try and expose for the dark and, and then it will blow out the, the the light you know the sky and stuff so you may need to just adjust it like that but if it's just pointing out of the front window it should do it itself so we'll click back there button beep screensaver uh, language we've got anyway driver assistance okay here we go. Ford collision warning. So I'm going to put that on. Just go back there. Then we've got lane departure warning. <laughs> I hate that, but I'm going to put it on anyway. So that's lane departure warning on. Speed alert. No, I'm not going for speed alert. I never speed anyway. And certainly in my Citroen Ami, which will only do 28 miles per hour, it will be impossible to uh, speed. Now then, <clears throat> radar network alerts, so click OK there. That's on, announce display, uh, we'll go back, driver smarter services, incident reporting, mayday alerts, no, I'm not gonna do that. Speed 
speed units. So it's on miles per hour, that's okay. We'll go back and volume. Volume's okay for me. WDP on. GPS format, that'll be in degrees. Frequency, frequency, you, this shouldn't matter too much really being outside, but th for things like artificial lights, you can get flickering if it's sent, set at the wrong hertz. So uh, again, I don't think you'll need that. Format reminder, always a good idea to keep uh, formatting your SD card keep it nice and fresh, make sure it doesn't get corrupted. So you can set that for 15 days, 30 days, 60 days. Um, delete video reminder, again, it's, it, it'll just keep overwriting it. Restore defaults, format SD card. So always a good idea to format your SD cards, as I say, to, to stop them getting corrupted. Uh, format SD card, all files will be deleted and then as i say those four buttons there correspond to the uh, instructions there so we'll just click ok that's it deleted uh, so, so that's it that's that's the actual all the bits on the camera you can see there it's uh let's see move that round up that's that's the back view camera that's me and then the front view camera here we go whoops I can't lift it up too much because I've got this battery pack, but uh, you'll see here, that's uh, my setup filming this. Try not to do anything with it. Right now, this might be tricky. I've not done this before, so we're going to go out of there and then I've already downloaded this Drive Smarter app. I'm going to open that. Register, first name, Barry, oops, I don't know my own name, my fingers are too big, my thumbs are even worse, Barry Crampton, suggested emails, I'm going to do that one, country, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, password, just remember to cut this out, don't confirm password, Done. Keep me updated on all the products, and then you've got register at the bottom. Now that's that's a bit awkward because it's right off my screen here. But anyway, it's it's allowed me to do it. So we'll just put my password in. Then it should remember it, I think. Login. A verification link has been sent to your email address. Please follow the instructions to activate your account. So click OK. Go to my emails. Back there. Emails. Uh, knock off. Drive smarter. There we go. Action required. Activate. Activate your account. Congratulations. It's activated it's verified down there verification success click OK um, I'm going to go back to the app and hopefully this will log me in now crikey Log in. Drive Smarter would like to use Bluetooth. So, okay, there you go. I'm gonna put my glasses on for this. <laughs> there we go. 
So home, gallery, settings. So to account, add vehicle, add your vehicle information, set up your new device, add vehicle, nickname Barry. Oh, for the year, so it's going to be 2023, Citron, Ami, and it'll be in Gulf Colours, Gulf Colours, save, vehicle added successfully, now add device. So click add device. First ensure that your device is connected to power and turned on. It is, then make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. Search for devices. So I know my Bluetooth is on. It may take 30 seconds. The Bluetooth sign is on the back of the camera there. SC200, continue. That's what I want. There was a ding. Device added successfully. Finish setup. Firmware update. A newer version of your device. This firmware is available to download, so download. And I'm assuming that that is updating the camera. Join by. Uh, So it dings every time it connects. Keep device powered on during the update. It might take up to a minute. I can't see anything happening on here. Drive Smarter would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. This app will be able to discover and connect to devices on your network you use. So allow. Uploading the firmware to the device. Upload was successful. Caution, keep device powered on during the reboot. It might take up to a minute. Device disconnected. I'm assuming that the camera is now rebooting. Upload was successful. Your device SC200. Caution, keep device powered on during the reboot. It might take up to a minute, okay. Updating sound data. That must be the sound data updated. So that looks like it's the upload complete there. Please restart your phone to ensure you can use the latest features enabled by this update. So we have to, there's OK there and the button is under there again. So I'm going to click OK. That knocks that off. Um, OK, so I'm going to, I don't know whether I need to restart my phone or whether I just shut the app and then open it up again. So I've opened it up, skip set up, I've already set it up. so. We need to be searching for devices. Make sure your device is no more than 15 feet from your smartphone. Well, it would be a big car if it was over 15 feet away. We couldn't find your device. <laughs> reboot. So we'll reboot the device. We'll just knock that off. Plug it back in. Wait for it to come up. I just wait and see if Bluetooth is on at the top there. So the Bluetooth sign's on. And we'll search again. And it's found it. So I'll skip setup. And there we go. Hopefully. Initiating live view. So there's the, the video symbol there. Drive smart wants to join Wi-Fi. Join. 
There's a beep on the dash cam. It's still waiting. Taking a while, but now it's buffering, and that's it. That's it, as you can see there. Uh, that's the front camera, and that's the rear one. So that's it. That, that's basically how you set the app up. Um, See so speed limit. There's nothing else really I can do. What does that do? Police spotted. <laughs> right. Well, we don't want to get involved with that. That's the speaker. Um, that's your position. Your gallery. I think you can actually take a photograph. So if I take a photograph using this button here. Bring that back. Use that button there. Drive Smarter wants to join again because I knocked it off. Right, there you go. That's showing me, it's, it's saying 4 a.m. as I just noticed there, the, the time was wrong. But you can, the, the photographs you've taken, there you go, front and rear. Um, and you can share that, delete it, download it to your phone and uh, you, you've got a full record here. That's uh, that's a pretty gruesome looking shot. Watch it flip round, no doubt. Now there you go. So the camera you can see there. The the uh, the quality is. Uh, that's, that's a brand new camera. That's me. So I am um, first impressions. I really like the build quality. I'm not just saying that. It is, it's, it's, uh, it's solid. It's, uh, it's like a proper miniature camera. Um, the mounting, we'll, we'll see about the mounting, but it's got the usual sticky pads on. That's my GoPro overheating. And somebody asked me a question on my YouTube channel the other day, because my GoPros, these are the latest GoPros, are always overheating. Um, and switching off and somebody asked me the question why don't dash cams overheat and if, if somebody could tell me that I'd be very grateful because uh, I may just have to end up the, these are cranky 400 quid each I think these are around about 200 pounds something like that um, I may as well get these and, ju and just use just use dash cams to do my videos because the quality is extremely good. Anyway, the, the next the next video that I do, um, I shall be fitting it. If my I've, I've told Cobra Electronics that I will complete this video and post it in January. Um, it's New Year's Eve at the moment, or it will be in a short while. Um, hopefully, my Citroen Ami will come before the end of January. Otherwise, I'll fit it in another car. I do use another car during the day anyway um, for work, so I might just fit it in there. But so far, uh, thanks for watching. I, I may, I may just make this into uh, a two-part video. Uh, I may just put it all in one. I'm, I'm not decided yet. So watch this space. Thanks for watching. As I say, it's New Year's Eve, so uh, hope everybody has a, a, a great New Year, and I hope you've all had a, a great Christmas too. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.